So um, the ones that are allowing this stuff to come into their churches, this yoga, the ones that are allowing yoga to come into their churches, um, you know, they think they're just exercising and stuff, but they're not. Um, you Let's talk about the word luck, okay? Luck. Did you know that luck's a false god, one of the seven false gods of China? Luck is also one of the Hindu false gods. So whenever we're behind pulpits, and I believe that because of the Kundalini spirit, this is why behind pulpits they're saying words like luck, okay? Yeah, you're just saying the word. You're not saying it to give glory to anything. You're not saying it to, to give power to this thing. But you are saying the word. It does not matter what is going on in, in your brain of why you're saying this word, right? You are literally speaking this word out into existence. And not just that, but you're speaking this word out into existence behind the pulpit, the Yahweh God Almighty's word holy bible is spoke out of words like luck and karma did you know that karma is a false god as well from the eastern religions we're allowing this stuff in our churches and it's because of the kundalini spirit okay i, I mean one or, uh, so much of this kundalini spirit is snuck in to to the United States of America and to the churches, and it's now it's in the Bible Belt. But it's because over here in Oak Ridge, Tennessee, we have these scientists working as well, doing these these uh these these movements and 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 and, and, and these projects and, and these strange things that they're doing with with stones. Mm, scientists, scientists. They're trying to prove our God wrong. They're trying to prove that he didn't exist or he doesn't exist. And I'm sorry, y'all, um, but but these scientists are false. They're they're truly speaking false things and, and they're deceiving us. They're deceiving every one of us. Right. And the Bible does say in the end of time that all the nations will fall to the deception some of this teaching that we get in the United States of America, I'm stunned after getting in the word myself and finding out that everybody's going to fall to a deception. Everybody's going to go through the trial and tribulation. We will have a seal on our forehead, which means we won't be experiencing some of the darkness that others are. But, you know, y'all, I think we're already going through some of this. I mean, people are getting angry. People are mad. And it's, it's because so much of the religious nonsense from other religions are able to sneak in. And they're coming through our mouths. We're teaching them to our children. You know, right down here in the little library in White Bluff, Tennessee, I walked in that one day and there was books in the children's section on necromancy, sorcery, geomancy, Necromancy, sorcery, geomancy. This is in the kids section at a library. That's crazy. There was an eight year old little girl that told her grandma just recently. She said, Grandma, I can help you quit smoking cigarettes. She said, Oh yeah, how? She said, I can make a circle in the on the ground and I can put a star in it and I can light candles. And, and I can say a spell. I can say a spell, and it'll help you quit smoking cigarettes. What? This is an eight-year-old child. She said, yeah, I got a book at home on it. This is an eight-year-old child that's talking about magic, sorcery. And, and my friend said, no, no, Jesus. Jesus can help me do that. I don't need no black magic. I don't need no sor I don't need that to help me do that, to help me quit smoking cigarettes. Jesus will help me. She said, oh, well, you ain't quit yet, so I figured that this would just help. What?
this is an eight-year-old this is an eight-year-old child speaking of magic that has a book at home and understood that it's possible if you do this it'll help you quit smoking cigarettes you know just 10 years ago I wouldn't dare say any of that stuff to my children and nowadays you got kids watching scary movies and they love it they love watching things being smashed and, and slashed and blood and gore what is wrong with us what has happened you know what's happened technology technology has happened the new world order has happened our Bible speaks of this stuff yoga it's no bueno please stop you can exercise I walk every day I was 219 pounds when I got out of prison I walked for six months straight like lots of miles of walking from one little town on a drive it's 12 minutes away and on a walk I mean it could be three to four or five hours it just depended right but I walked to get that and I got all that weight off within six months every bit of it I'm a little bitty bean pole now no I don't want anyway I ain't gonna get into that I'm just saying instead of doing these exercises from these Eastern religions these not exercises these prayers right helping the new world agenda come in which has to be for prophecy to be fulfilled but our father says come out of Babylon well guess what a part of Babylon is yoga I get really worked up about this stuff because I see it happening everybody is allowing this stuff to happen and then they're just making excuses for it and they're not reading the word and nobody wants to get in the old covenant anymore you know the old covenant is how we know for sure what to look for in a false god what to look for if it ain't of Yahweh God Almighty I'll say it like that right the word because the word teaches us what our father likes and what he dislikes that's the whole word that's the New Testament the New Covenant and the Old Covenant that's the New and the Old Testament that's the Old and the New Testament it, the whole Bible teaches us how to speak how to walk how to talk because guess what we're just human we don't really know how to do these things the only way to know how to do it is through the word I'll be back with y'all um, about some more on CERN and the Large Hadron Collider. But guess what? You live in these times. And to me, it's kind of crazy that people are just sitting around wanting to be blind. Y'all need to wake up wake up and wake up Tennessee if anybody from Tennessee is listening wake up you ain't dumb you're not a country bumpkin well you might be a country bumpkin but that's okay that don't make you dumb you can still get in your word and read you can still get in the Bible the word of Yahweh and read you can get on these phones you can read for hours on end on these phones you can get on the computer games you can read on I mean you can play for hours on end on computer games you can watch television just completely dumbfounded for hours on end you can read and text message your friends for hours on end then you can get in the word of Yahweh God Almighty for at least 2.5 seconds to get some kind of the sword inside of your body because it's the only sword because our minds our brains our thoughts are being attacked my friends and the only way to slash through any of that those weapons that are coming against us is with the word of God y'all have a blessed day in the name of Yeshua